how you doing? And welcome to another week of the Big Shirley Show. Um, I'm going to be doing topics every week of uh, trending news, uh, updates, just anything that's happening in the world right now that you guys may be interested in, anything that I read up on that I'm interested in. So uh, be looking for those on uh, Thursdays from now on, all right? So uh, news with Big Shirley. Okay, so as y'all know, June 25th was uh, National Gay Pride Day. And Oreo came out with a advertisement of a rainbow-colored stuffed cookie. It's cute. I think it's cute. It's cute. But it striked controversy. Let me tell you what. On Facebook alone, on June 25th, in 17 hours, 157,000 people liked this image. Over 40,000 people shared it and 20,000 people commented on it. Majority of them were positive. Majority. There were some things that striked as not so nice. Um, there were comments as in, uh, I'll never buy Oreos again or, um, disgusted with Oreos. Even as far as saying, Gays are an abomination to God, and I will never buy an Oreo again. Now, this is why I have a problem. It's a freaking cookie. It's a freaking cookie. Multicolored, triple, triple, dipple, little, 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 stuffed cookie. Now, me, personally, that's Fat Girl's Dream. It's got like, what, eight layers of creamy goodness, and in different colors, I can smile a rainbow. But y'all worried about somebody loving somebody else. Well, hell, honey. Some people may not like the fact that you knock on our doors at 9 a.m. thumping the Bible. All these things can be thrown in the air and stabbed at and ridiculed. Point is, nothing's ever going to get better until you let the petty stuff go and start worrying about the things that really matter. Let me give you an example of something that might matter more than a rainbow-colored cookie. Drugs. Drugs are becoming a lot worse than what they used to, honey. Instead of getting the clean-cut based cocaine, now we sucking down bath salts. Instead of naturally growing a hip plant, now we're sucking down what they call spice. It's all synthetic. Doesn't show up on a screen test. Most PO officers can't send you back to jail for it, so yeah. In some communities, spice is the bomb. Spice is great. I can get the same effects I can get from weed and not get in trouble with my P.O. Oh, yeah. Smoking some spice. 15 minutes after you hit that blunt, you eating a dog up. This is not Kim Young Su's restaurant, honey. This is not the happy walk. What you eating a dog for, man? And what's funny is the same guy that ate his dog in Waco, Texas, just ate. A freaking sheep or something. He was charged June 14th for a non-livestock animal. I'm thinking a cat or a bird. or I don't know. Maybe somebody owned a hamster and he just wanted some chicken wings. And that's what... I don't know. I don't know what this guy was doing. But he just got charged for eating an animal. I mean... Uh, okay, weed makes you hungry. I understand that. You be eating up the Twinkies, the cupcakes. You know what I'm saying? You be stuffing rainbow cookies. <laughs> Obviously, spice makes you want to eat Fido. I don't know what the world is going to today, but it sure is going to hell in a handbasket with gasoline wrapped all around it. And y'all are worried about a colored cookie. Such sad, sad souls today. Such sad. You are worried about a cookie. It's crazy. It's nuts. All I can say is get the hell over yourself. Until next time, I will holla at you later.